What's going on guys? Ben here, Enos Tech, and today we're taking our first hand look at the Cooltech Skull C uh, PC case. Now I've already gone ahead and put a full build in this, so we'll get to check that out in a few moments. Working our way around the case, as you can see on the front here, we have three 5.25 inch drive bays on the top that will allow us to install a number of CD, Blu-ray drives, or even some custom reservoirs or reservoirs from certain companies. Below this, there is a nice ventilated area, mesh area, that allows our two intake fans, which come pre-installed, to pull in cool air from the outside of the case to help cool down our PC components. Because as we all know, heat can play a big part in damaging our computer. The great thing about these is that not only do they come with dust filters on them, but you don't actually have to take the front panel off to remove these dust filters to clean them. There are simply, on the side, there are two little pull tabs. And as you can see, you can pull them all the way out. These do come out, yes. And once so, then you can take them out and you can clean them. Thus, easily getting any dust that's collected on them out of your case and out of harm's way and allowing your intake fans to pull in more air. This is a great option in my opinion as yes dust filters are amazing and most cases are now coming with them but they're not always as easily removable and you may not want to have to take off the whole front panel every time you want to clean the dust out of the front of your case moving around to the side and while i would have personally preferred a nice plexiglass viewing window of some sort Cooltech have made this thing a cooling beast as you can see on the side panel here you can fit up to four 120 millimeter fans. Now that is great. It also looks like it has support for one of maybe the bigger 200 millimeters fans or something similar to that as well. Again, I would have personally have loved to seen a nice viewing area here, but this case here, it appears to be all about cooling and allowing for a lot of air cooling options, which is great. So. If that's your type of thing, if you're looking for a case that you can slap on some fans on the side, maybe you're looking for a mini server slash gaming computer type build where you want to put multiple graphics cards in there or something, not sure about water cooling, you want to slap some more fans onto the side of your case, boom, Cooltech have got you covered with their skull. Alright, on to the back of the case, starting up at the top, as you can see, there are what appear to be four holes for water cooling tubes. Now these holes aren't fully punched out, though they are there. So with a little bit of work, you could go ahead and pop those little pieces out, I'm sure, and pass some water cooling tubes in and through the case, out the case, whatever you want to do. It also comes with a pre-installed 120 millimeter rear exhaust fan which is great, you combine that with the two on the front installed and you're already set up out of the box to get a decent amount of airflow going. As you can also see, there are eight PCI slots that will allow you to install a number of expansion cards or graphics cards, um, three double slotted GPUs in here, sound cards, network cards, USB port cards, SATA RAID cards, um, and whatever you need really, I mean, I know some LED strips, some custom LED strips come with uh, rear panel switches on them so you can control them, so you can put a couple of those in there as well. Again, right to the right of that is a nice little vented area. This just kind of allows uh, for more airflow, allows the air to easily get in and out if there's air being pushed there for some reason. Now, instead of circulating back into the case, it'll come on out. And as always, hope to see, in this day and age 2016 we have our bottom mounted power supply cut out which as you can see got a nice little cooler master v600 in there so but we'll take a look at all that in the final build as mentioned the cool tech skull is all about air cooling out of the box i mean if to say anything else is just foolish there are so many options for air cooling alone and not saying that there isn't support for water cooling because there really is. There's quite a bit of it. We'll take a look at that when we get inside the case. But Cooltech have done a great job at making things so there's dust filters for everything, airflow for everything. And one of the things they did is they also included a dust filter on the power supply on the bottom side to keep dust from getting into the power supply. And this is easily cleaned again. From the back of the case, as you might be able to see here, there is a little clip sticking out on the bottom. 
Now, if you go ahead and just push that clip down a little bit and start pulling it out, the dust filter does actually come all the way out. Now, I've left it in a little bit just for the purpose of this video so you can see where it is located. But again, this will come all the way out. And I mean, once it's out, you could even go ahead and rinse it off under the sink if you wanted to help clean that dust off. This is great. Cool Tech have done a great job at making these dust filters easily accessible so you can clean them without having to flip your case around and do all kinds of crazy stuff, which is always a big plus in my book. All right, so even on the top of this case, the Cool Tech Skull, there's quite a bit going on. As you can see here, for the front panel towards the front of the case, there are two individual fan controllers that allow you to have your fans stopped, or you can either put them on low or high, which is great. Um, again, this is, is a great cooling case. Like I said, it's all about the air cooling. This will allow you, like I said, low or high. So if you're just using it for normal use, boom, you can swap them to low. But if you've got multiple graphics cards in there, and you need to turn those bad boys up for some rendering or some gaming or some 4K, whatever have you. You can kick some of the fans up to high and get that air circulating and help keep things cool. Aside from this, as you can see, there are also a number of USB ports. As you can see, there are two USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports. And in the, between the middle of those two 2.0 ports are our microphone and headphones jack. On the outside of those 2.0 ports are our power and reset button with the power button and indicator on the left and the reset button on the right hand side. So turn your computer on in the morning or if it freezes up or something you need to reset it, boom, you can go ahead and do that. As you will notice, the top also features a nice mesh area to allow for more air in. When I told you guys this case is all about allowing for airflow and air cooling, I was not joking. Now, the great thing about this is the uh, mesh area here is easily removable. You just click down on each side, as you can see there, and then it just lifts right out. And what it reveals now is a place for up to three different fans, which is just great if you ask me. You can put up to three 120 millimeter fans in here, or that would also allow you to kind of work out for a 360 mil radiator or all-in-one cooler, as I know a couple companies do make 360 mil AIOs. Now, the one thing to be weary about here is the clearance because most of the stuff will have to go inside the case and depending on your hardware it will depend on how much clearance you have so if you can put how many radiators and fans and stuff like that it's kind of hard to say because again it comes down to your personal configuration nevertheless if you're just looking to whack some fans in here maybe some exhaust fans to help exhaust all that hot air up and out through the case this is great again 320 mil fans that's going to get a lot of airflow going so just to recap real quick from what we've already seen here we've got two on the front three on the top that's five one in the back for six and you can fit up to four 120 mil fans on the side panel so that's a total of 10 fans as it is already on the outside and kind of exterior if you will of the chases all of which are easily cleaned. I mean, obviously for the side panel ones, you can wipe the side panel off, whack the door off real quick, boom, boom, boom. The front ones have the easily removable dust filters. Great option in my opinion. And so does the power supply. And I mean, you know, it's a lot. Again, I'm just amazed at how much air cooling support, how much fan support this case really does offer. All right, so here's a quick peek at the bottom. As you can see, they've got the nice, long, wide feet to help raise the case up off the floor uh, so we can get some airflow going. And I mean, what's that right in the middle? Another dust filter? Yes, that's correct, folks. That is for the 11th fan. You can go ahead and put a fan on the bottom of the case next to the power supply to help bring in some more air. So that is a total of 11 fans that you could bring into this case so far. That job, that's just amazing. I mean, with that type of air cooling, 
it's just a great you could there's no stopping what you could put in here you could have a full build in here um four gpus if you wanted to if you had the support and power supply and all that the right motherboard plenty of hard drives i mean you, there's no stopping the cooling from getting here because even if you filled up all the hard drive bays you've got cooling coming in from other areas which is just amazing so why don't we go ahead and take a look at the back side of the motherboard tray with all our cable management options and then finish up with a final look at the inside of the final build all right so as we can see here cooltech have done a great job at supplying us with ways to route our cables now I know mine isn't the best done. Uh, those who know me know I am not the best at cable management, even given all the options available. But as you can see, towards the top where that blue cable is, there are a couple of wide Velcro straps. Now those come pre-installed by Cooltech and they're already cable managing the cables that they have included for the front panel and the fan controllers and the likes of that. And as you will also see here, speaking of fan controllers, there are a couple of uh, fan connectors there for you to plug in fans so you can go ahead and make use of the fan controllers on the front panel on the top of the case, which is great. There are also a number of other little places where you can tie zip ties or the twist ties that Cooltech included. They do include... It's got to be 10, 15 of them, the little twist ties like bread ties, so you can go ahead and tie up your cables out the way and stuff. And as again, there are plenty of clips for that. So big ups to Cooltech. They've done a great job with this case all around. And now it's time to look at the final build on the inside and see what we're really t working with. All right, so here we have it. The final build, the final product of what you can get inside the Cooltech skull with a pretty simple uh, gaming component build inside. Uh, just for reference, there's the MSI Z170A uh, gaming carbon motherboard, which also features RGB lighting. Review for that should be up on Enos Tech as well, so check for that. Um, we of course have the GeForce GTX 770 reference card with a Be Quiet Dark Rock 3 CPU cooler. Just so you guys can kind of get a look and of course we have the cool master v650 uh, i believe i said v600 earlier but it's a 650. as you can see there's plenty of room here on the right the 5.25 inch drive bays we can now see that those are toolless as well below those are spaces and drive bays for up to eight hard drives now these drive bays are a bit unique as they take 3.5 inch hard drives, 2.5 inch hard drives, and you can also mount 80 and 92 millimeter fans to them. Now I know some people are like, well why would you want to do that? Well, if you're using this build for a server and it's pumping up a lot of energy, a um, lot of data, a lot of things, you might want to throw a fan or two in there to help keep your hard drives cool. Uh, a lot of people may say it's useless, but a lot of people that do server type builds and stuff, I'm pretty sure they'll agree that, yeah, it can come in handy depending on the task at hand. Now, again, we showed you that 11th place for a fan that you can see here right in front of the PSU, between the PSU and the drive bays. Nice little cutout area, mesh area that you can go ahead and mount another, probably intake fan, if you will to help bring in some more air. Now, this is a good thing, again, because like I said, if you fill up all those drive bays with hard drives, the front intake fans aren't gonna be able to pass a lot of air through there. Yes, they'll cool the hard drives, but the rest of the components will be left out. So Cooltech have installed this, so you can get some more air in. This will help bring air up directly towards the GPUs, or GPU in my case, if I've only got one, that would help bring up some cool air to that to help keep that cool during them gaming sessions. And again, don't forget on the side panel, there are room for four 120 millimeter fans, which is just ridiculous. But I mean, this is what you get left with. Obviously, there are some decent cable management options. As you can see, the cutouts for those, all the cutouts are in the right places. We've got the cable for the 8-pin EPS cable up to the top. Like you can't even really see it too much. It just comes out right at the top of the motherboard, which is nice. 
Uh, great placement for the 24 pin and 8 pin cables for the power, um, the motherboard and the GPU. And yeah, it just all works nice. Obviously, if you take a little bit more time than I did, tidy up your cable management, it would look a lot nicer. But Cooltech have gone out of their way to make this an all around great case. So you can go ahead and put a massive amount of hardware in here, a massive amount of cooling, and have yourself a decent build. That's pretty much it. I know I've been rambling on for a while now. I just want to say big thanks to Cooltech for sending in their skull PC case for me to have a look out and let them know, let you guys all know, the written review is coming on enistech.com very soon. So make sure to check for that. Depending on when you're watching this video, I may have already put the link down in the description. So check for that as well. And yeah, I just want to say thanks to everybody taking the time to watch my videos. And as always, please stay tuned in the future for more content.